Hello everyone and welcome to another Nate's Numismatics. I'm your host Nate and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've got a sale preview just uh, just for some some coins that I'm going to be selling. Uh, probably probably will go up later today or uh, tomorrow at the latest. So I'm just going to uh, jump into this and uh, go buy lots. The first lot is a group of British copper, bronze, uh, pennies, half pennies. We've got New Zealand pennies as well. And some Australian. But they're all, uh, they've all got the monarchs on them. A lot of uh, older coins in here. Got some Victorias. Most of these are problem free, mostly. Um, got some older ones here. The bun head with a uh, really slick back. I think I was going to try to send this in for a poor one grade at. Uh, third-party grader and never got around to it. Um, so there, there's some nicer ones in this lot, but not all worn, not all bad. So that's lot one. Lot two, I've got some small little lot of sort of foreign coins, some Guernsey, uh, Churchill crown, just uh, lots of different stuff. A few tokens in here, um, although not many. It's a really slick uh, commemorative medal of some sort and not sure what this is, but it is going in the lot, and maybe one of you can uh, figure out what it is. So this is just uh, some world coins, this whole lot is. Not sure what this is. It looks medieval of some sort, but I can't tell for certain. And that is lot two. I'll just get this back in this bag. And then. The rest of the lots are all sets and albums. This is a uh, 1975 One Do It in a Morgan Mint uh, souvenir holder. It's just a nice little uh, souvenir, souvenir set you can display and show off. It's got a this is 1966. Yeah, 1966 special mint set. And you all should know about uh, SMSs. They're the, uh, the substitute for the proof sets in 65, 66, and 67. So we've got a Littleton uh, 1979. SBA mint set. It's uh, San Francisco, Denver, and Philly. And they're all uncirculated. It's in this nice little folder. Uh, I believe this was made in 93. So that was before the 1999 uh, SBAs. Up, I've got a Taiwan uh, 
subsidiary money set. I can't tell for sure if these are supposed to be the official mint sets of the year. But, um, these contain uncirculated, uh, 71s, 1971s, except for the 5 Jow, which is, uh, 1970 for some reason. And again, I, I can't tell if these are supposed to be, um, special mint sets, um, or maybe, maybe they're, uh, gifts to, uh, special visitors. I, I just really can't tell. I, I've got, uh, three of these now, and I, I used to have five, but I sold two of them, and now I'm selling another one. Here we've got a 1972 uncirculated set. I'm not sure why I saved these, but, um, it's a, it's a 1972 set. Pretty, pretty nice coins inside of it. I believe one of these coins in here has a uh, double die for the year, but I, I, I can't uh, can't recall for certain. Um, other than that, it's it's not uh, too special of a set, but it is a mint set nonetheless. I believe. Yeah, just wanted to make sure of something. Uh, this is a 1973 uh, mint metal. These were minted for the uh, bicentennial uh, celebration that were going on around the time. It's a Philadelphia mint thing. And it comes with this uh, little token about the celebration and some information about the metal. And a first day cover. Next up, let me see if I can just get this in here real quick. There we go. Next up is something you uh, you definitely don't see every day. This is a 1970, uh, sorry, 1982 um, BU uh, uncirculated Japanese mint set got everything from the 1 yen to the 500 yen, which is a uh, fairly high face value coin. It's uh, about 450 US, I believe. These are um, some very, very nice coins in here. And I believe this set is made out of PVC, um, although I can't say I've seen any sign of damage on the coins. And... You can see this uh, 10 yen has some very, very nice color on the uh, denomination side. And they are just uh, really nice, uh, well, brilliant uncirculated coins. Uh, next is a partial Australian mint set. These, uh, this particular set, 1970, uh, yeah, 1970, was, uh, limited to just, uh, 40,230, uh, sets. And the one cent and two cent coins are missing from this, but it's got the, uh, commemorative 1970-50 cent, and the rest of the coins are very nice as well. Again, uh, only 40,230 of these sets were made, which is very low. So we've got a Nepal 1974 proof set, and this is one of the uh, one of the harder to find countries for proof sets. This uh, particular set is is uh, just uh, minted 11,000. Um, so only 11,000 of each of these coins were made in proofs, and there's some uh, really, really nice coins in here. Unfortunately, this uh, 
I believe that's a 10, is corroding a little bit. Um, but other than that, all of the rest of the coins are very problem free and very nice. You can see there how uh, reflective they are, which is. Um, you, you don't see that it was on a. You don't see coins this nice in regular Nepal coinage. So these are uh, they're definitely uh, high demand. And then I've got uh, some albums. I've got a Whitman uh, 1881 to 1901 uh, UK pennies. This would go good with the uh, first slot, the the copper lot I showed off. It's unused. I believe I bought about two of these back in the day when I, I was hoarding um, when I was hoarding the these copper coins that. And that's where that came from. Uh, was a just a personal hoard of mine. These copper ones came from that. And this uh, this book I bought. I bought two of by mistake when I was trying to uh, to buy a complete run of the folders for the uh, farthings, half pennies, and pennies for United Kingdom. And then finally, I've got a Whitman Buffalo Nickel album. Um, no problems with this one either. I uh, I just like to be uniform, and uh, this was sticking out from the rest of my dance goes. So I, I bought a new uh, Buffalo Nickel dance go, and just uh, switched them over. And this would this would be good for uh, just anyone who wants to collect buffalo nickels. It's a very nice way to display your set. I believe all the slides are there. Should be. And that is it for today. Um, not much, not too much to show off. Uh, but again, the uh, the coins are all are, are all pretty nice. Um, I'll post the I'll post this the a link to the sale in the description uh, later on. But uh, if any of you have any questions for me about any of the any of the coins, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, just let me know, and uh, I'll come up with prices a little bit later. Um, but uh, as always, you can make a you can make an offer on these. Uh, I, worst I can do is say no, and um, hope I can uh, hear from you guys, and maybe we can add some some nice new things to your collection. All right, uh, that's it for me today. Um, thanks for watching. Like it if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Uh, I'll be posting more. Um, more informative stuff later. Um, that's usually what I post. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.